Hi, I have a special offer this month. You can win a mystery tarot deck. To join the lottery, all you need to do is purchase a reading from the bronze tier on my website. So, in addition to the reading, you might receive a tarot deck as well, shipping included. Check out the details in the description. Thank you. Welcome to this month's lottery reading. Thank you for everyone who decided to participate. Uh, as I've mentioned in the beginning of the video, there's this opportunity this month to get in the ring for a mystery deck lottery. If you're interested, you can read about it in the details. And of course, also we have the regular monthly lottery going. So, you can feel free to enter into that one as well on Patreon or on my website. Today, I'm going to be using a new tarot deck that I've recently purchased. It's called the Yasin Yuselev Tarot. I'm not sure how his name is pronounced. He's a Bulgarian. Uh, graphic designer, illustrator, and the deck is completely beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. The illustrations are just magical. And it's only the major arcana cards that he decided to incorporate in the deck, but they are very detailed and interesting to look at. So, Today's reading is going to be done with this deck over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see who the winner of our lottery is going to be. Meanwhile, I would like to encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this type of content, if you like tarot readings and ASMR, this is the place for you to hang out. I am posting a video every day this week, so feel free to, do, to tune in tomorrow as well. Okay, so let's see who the winner is going to Ian. Congratulations, Ian. I'm going to do an affirmations reading for you, so stay tuned. And if you didn't get picked or if you haven't even participated but you're interested to watch this video, feel free to hang out with us and see if the reading resonates with you, if you can uh, learn something from it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you um, all the cards in the deck. So, maybe if you're interested in that, then stay tuned for that. Alrighty. So, let's jump into your reading, Ian. I'm going to give the cards a little bit of a shuffle. These cards are really big. So it's not that easy to shuffle them, but I'm going to do my best. And we are going to go ahead and pick one card that will guide us in this reading. I'm 
going to be using the brush to connect with the cards and see what messages we need to talk about. over here somewhere. This is it, All right? And we have the beautiful card of the magician showing up for you, Ian. The magician is number one of the Major Arcana. It is following the Fool, which is number zero, so it is actually the second card. And the Magician reminds you that within you there resides a power, a potential, that goes beyond logic and rational comprehension. Within you, there's magical powers that completely defy logic and also go directly against what you're used to. Personality and ego are basically habitual memories in the brain. Your ego is a chain of memories and concepts that you have created along the way to define yourself and to try to identify your needs. And sometimes the ego gets it wrong. Sometimes there's absolutely no reason to be angry or sad or offended. And yet the ego comes up with reasons, with justifications for negative feelings. And this is where the magician comes in, a deeper part of your body and soul and consciousness, a part of you that is not tied to any tradition, any habits, any expectations. This part of you is free. And you can find it within yourself. When you breathe in and out consciously and patiently, you can find it coming up in your dreams your aspirations. You can find it in other people as well. The tarot is asking you to think about those people in your life or external 
to your circle, dead or alive, who you can connect with the archetype of the magician. Someone who is powerful beyond what is analytically possible. Someone who has a way of teaching you effortlessly just by representing an example of how things could be or how things really are. The magician is leading you to your true self, to the source of who you are, to the authentic within you. And the thing about the magician is, is that sometimes there's external resistance to the magician's archetype. People might be afraid to see things from your perspective. They might misunderstand you. They might misinterpret your actions and your words. But the true power of the magician lies within the lack of need for external validation. He is fiercely independent of any criticism and praise. He operates within a divine realm of possibilities and creativity. And he does not owe an explanation to anybody. So, to affirm the magician's presence within you, I would like to ask you to repeat the following words. You don't have to say them out loud. You can simply repeat them to yourself. I am beyond. I have the means to achieve whatever I set my mind to. I don't need anybody's permission to be successful. I am powerful on my own. multiple solutions available to me at any given time, and I'm free to choose from them. I am dictating the pace and the rhythm of my life. Who I am. I am more powerful than my fears. There are no external limitations. My mind overcomes the boundaries created by matter.
It is my birthright to be free. When I'm in this powerful state of mind, I can do no wrong. When I look at the world, I see an infinite amount of love. When I look at other people, I can only see friends, no enemies. I am creating my own destiny. Nobody can control me but me. When I align myself with the universe, good things happen. the authority to make decisions. I am the only authority on who I am. free to create as much as I want. I can be wild and unruly if necessary. I can create something out of nothing. I am here to change the world. I'm improving myself. Improving others. I am at my most powerful when I let myself be. Nothing has power over me. Thank you for watching. Have a good night or a successful day.